Hello my friends and welcome back. In today's video I'm going to walk you through how to use one of the coolest projects that I have seen submitted to the awesome Komorebi list. This project is a plugin for the Stream Deck. So a Stream Deck is this thing. It's a little macro pad by Elgato. It's used by a lot of streamers, broadcasters, and basically you can assign any number of shortcuts on any number of pages to any of these buttons, right? And that's like a little video. And so usually plugins for the Stream Deck, they target GUI apps, right? So a button that is programmed on the Stream Deck is like like a shortcut to a physical button that you would press on uh, on a GUI application. But this plugin is really interesting. Let's just get it up. Because it's the first time I've actually seen a Stream Deck uh, plugin for a, a daemon type application like Komorebi, which just runs in the background and doesn't really have a GUI. If you are here for the first time and you don't know what Komorebi is, it is a tiling window manager for Windows, which is written in the Rust programming language. So back to the plugin, this is really, really cool. It opens up a lot of possibilities. I spent a whole bunch of time playing around with it this week, and I thought I would shine a spotlight on it and also show you all how I have been using it. And maybe you'll have some ideas for me as well. So this is my Stream Deck loadout. Why don't I just bring this to my main workspace and center it. So I have this loadout here of just Komorebi commands. Um, I have at the top row a bunch of workspace shortcuts. So this uh, this first one will switch to like my personal workspace, then to my chat workspace, to my editing workspace. I also have buttons to open and close temporary workspaces, which look a little bit like this. So keep your eyes up on the workspaces widget of my bar. I'm going to press temp now, and it's opened up a temporary unnamed for workspace. And now I'm going to press close which will remove that temporary workspace. Uh, really, really cool. It means I don't have to find even more uh, hotkey combinations on my keyboard for stuff like that because I honestly, I'm running out of hotkeys. Um, some common commands that I use a lot are float, stack all, promote, and monocle. Um, I guess we can start from float. So I'm going to press the, the float button on my Stream Deck now, and it toggles float for this window. If I press it again, it will unfloat and reintegrate that into my tiling window manager layout. Uh, next up, why don't we do promote this one? It just promotes whichever window you're focused on to the biggest tile in the layout. So. I hit promote and it brought the Z browser window to the biggest tile. I'll do it again here and I'll bring the Stream Deck loadout uh, back to the middle. Uh, monocle, you've seen me use this a lot. It just um, makes a nice monocle mode uh, and you can toggle that off the same way. And let me see, can I? Yeah, okay, so I have enough to show off the directional one. So I'm going to press left and my focus goes to the left. I'm going to press right. It goes to the right. Right again. Down. Up. Left. Really cool. And of course I can uh, I can create a stack of all of these windows by hitting the stack all macro. Pretty cool. But it, it goes a little bit deeper than that. So one of the things that I really like about this plugin is that you can actually set long press arguments and commands. 
So here I have stack all, which is on the key up. So you press down and you immediately release. It's going to send the stack all command. But if I hold it down just a little bit longer and then let it back up, it's going to send unstack all, which is what I did right there. Super, super cool. And I have actually set up a lot of long press commands. I think actually for every single one. So let's take a look at personal. So for this, I have the command focus named workspace personal. But for the long press, I have move to named workspace personal. And I have this for every single uh, named layout for the chat, for editing, and also for temp, even though this one is a little bit different. And we'll get into that. Actually, why don't we get into that now? So if you have not already, I highly, highly recommend that you bookmark um, the Como Rebi documentation website, uh, specifically the CLI reference, because this is where you're going to find all of the cool commands that you combined. Um, let's unmonocle this, uh, minimize this. What are you doing, PowerShell? There we go. Um, and let's get these up side by side and take a look. So you can find all of these commands on here. So if I come to the left here and I go focus named workspace, it's, it's just running the command, right? And it takes a single argument, the target workspace name. In this case, that's personal. It's going to do the thing. And you can also then find move to named workspace here. It tells you what it's going to do. It shows you the arguments. And then you can just put them in like this. Uh, really, really nice, really simple. So if I wanted to move, let's say, this window to the chat workspace, I am going to, with this loadout, what I'm going to do is I am going to hold down chat. I'm holding it down. Now I release. And when I release, you can see that the workspace has been updated to chat. Uh, my window is now here. And if I were to go back to personal, I would just have stream deck. So I'm going to do the same thing now, but I'm going to hold down the, uh, the personal macro, this one, and holding it down for a second, letting it go. And you can see that the workspace has been updated to personal and my browser window is back here. Really, really nice, really cool. Big fan of this. The other place where I have been using long press is with the directional commands. So we have focus left, focus right on these two macros. Uh, we also have move on long press. So I'm going to hold down left for a second and then let it back up. And it has switched the positions. I'm going to do the same thing with right. And once again, it has switched the positions. I I think this is such a cool plugin. It's it's super creative, and not only is it creative, it's one of those tools that 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 will let you that will let you that lets you unleash your own creativity. So basically, my favorite kind of tools. So um, big shout out to Kevin, who is the developer maintainer of this amazing plugin. Uh, I am using it, so it is 100% GZ approved. Uh, I hope you'll also check it out. I hope you'll also give is this. How does this only have one star? I think I'm like, I am the only person who has starred this repo. So once you're done watching this video, go and give this repo a star. It is really cool. If you're a streamer, and you also use Como Rebi, try this out. I'd be really interested to hear from you what you're binding on your on your stream deck buttons. Um, yeah, this is this is very exciting. I'm already thinking now of brand new commands that I can implement just to be able to have them 
within within arm's reach on my stream deck. Super, super cool. All right, my friends, that is it for this time. I actually managed to make a short video. I hope that whatever you all do today, you have a great, great day, free Palestine, and I'll see you all back here next time.